<sighs> okay, this is for you, all of you, everybody in the world. Everybody in the world, no matter where you come from, what you look like, where, what you've done, where you've been, where, and not, I mean, all, all, all that matters to me is that you are alive, and I intend to keep you that way. Um, my intention, my motive is to revive you and to heal you, to bring the magic back into earth so that you may enjoy this magic and thrive the whole world the whole world here's my coffee with no meth in it it's just coffee Jones is so bad oh my god you have no idea how bad I just want I need and I'm so the anxiety is like ugh, I'm going crazy but because I'm quitting I won't be going crazy <laughs> um Eventually, eventually I will quit smoking cigarettes. Okay, so I have like, oh, several thousand letters in my inbox from YouTube that people have written to me, and there's letters in there that I have not read that are almost, they're two years old, a year and a half old. I mean, and I haven't checked my inbox in months. But I want you guys to know, every pr letter that is in there, I know is in there, and I feel you, and I feel your energy. You are not lost or forgotten. I have not forgotten about you, those that I used to correspond with and write to. You know, well, I haven't for a long time, but I know you're there. I know the letters are there, so I, mark my words. I promise you, every single one of those letters that have been written to me, I will read. They will be read soon. I can't say when, because right now I'm just going, you know... I haven't had the ability to sit down and concentrate and focus on that yet. I need to be a little bit more um, stable, um, harmonic, balanced, a little bit more relaxed. Um, you know, uh, anyhow, I promise you this. If I haven't answered you and your letters, because I mean, I have, well, actually about 4,000 letters or so in, um, in my inbox. And but Valerie, she died. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving. But when she was alive, I'd given her my password and I let her go through my letters and read them, you know, I've given her something to do. And so a lot of them that says that they're read, she read, but I haven't. So there's probably close to a thousand letters in there that I have not read. But I want you to know, in every single letter, even the ones I have read, I'm going to read every single one of them. I promise you. Don't think that I've forgotten you, or I'm, I'm ignoring you, or that you're not important, or that your letters are... You're my earth family. You're my people. I love you. I never want, would ignore you and disregard you like that, and your questions, and, you know, you're, you're connect, trying to connect with me, and then all of a sudden there's nothing. It seems like it's blank. Like, you know, you reach out to me, and then I don't reach back. But I am reaching back all the time, every moment of my life. But know this. I will... Every one of those letters will be read thoroughly and completely with total my total attention you know what I'm saying I won't, won't be sitting there reading it thinking about other things trying to do other things that they're hitting my, my, my meth pipe while I'm doing you know that shit ain't gonna happen I'm going to be able to fully wholeheartedly read each and every one of them and respond even if they're a year or two years old a week old whatever I know that I get a lot of mail and I haven't read them but you know a lot of letters that I've received have been mean nasty really mean <laughs> But one of the reasons I think that I haven't read so many of them is because I know that there's good ones in there full of love, but I know that there's hate mail in there too. And so by having them there and not reading them all has kept me from having to be subjected and influenced by the hate letters because the ones that are hateful and that are mean to me, you have no idea how much it affects me and how much it hurts me. You think it, it acts like it don't, but it does. It just it devastates me sometimes to the point of complete depression where I feel like killing myself. That's how much, you know, it hurts me when I read mean letters and the people are mean to me. And so by not, you know, by having them, I know that there's all that love in there, but I also haven't had to go through 
the motion of the mean ones, the hate. But I will, the mean ones and the nice ones, I, I will read every single one of them. I promise you, I promise you, none of you are lost or forgotten. None of you are lost or forgotten. Tyler, Matthew Blue, my son, Demetrius, Dante, Rascone, my son. Wherever you guys are, I love you, and I promise you this, when I get through this, and I get clean off drugs, and when I'm able to focus more of my attention on you, and know that I'm doing the right thing without feeling the guilt, when I actually feel and know that I have something to get back to you, I'll never be able to make up for, I, I wasn't a bad mother, I just wasn't a mother at all, because I let you guys both go, you know, and, but I will see you again, and I will bring you back more than you could ever imagine, you are princes, you are, you will be, I will gift you, you will, you will just be so, I'll give you back everything you ever dreamed of or wanted, I'll take care of you, I'll give you everything, right now, I need to make sure though that you have a future and a world to live in, to enjoy it, you know, and be able to have what you need, and the mother's love, and I do love you, I love you, but I don't think about you guys a lot, because the emotions of guilt are so overwhelming that over time, I have made it to where when I think about you, I block it out right away so that I don't have to feel the guilt because it's devastating to where I don't even know what you look like and I have, I've, the bond feels like it's severed but it's not. Deep down inside me without a voice and without a thought, you're alive in my heart and I am bringing this to you, what I'm doing and what, it's for your world. You have a world and a future and so your offspring and your children so you can thrive and survive and enjoy the miracles of this world and life and creation and everything and I will be a good mommy I will I can't take back what I've done wrong by not being there <sighs> oh you let red lipstick on oh. I love you guys so much you know this Tyler Demetrius I don't think Demetrius knows who I am. He has another mommy. Patrick married and had a couple. He has three daughters, Tyler's sisters, and from what I understand, the woman that he's Patrick is that Patrick Herbe Rantscone lives in Long Beach, California, with Demetrius and his wife and his Demetrius's three sisters. And Demetrius, my son, has been a vegetarian. He's been raised a vegetarian. Um, Tyler's never or Demetrius has never been allowed sugar. Or candy and he's a vegetarian and he's um when since he's been three years old the aunts patrick's sisters have been teaching him spanish so tyler knows spanish and english and i mean demetrius i'm sorry and i know he's in a good home and i don't think he knows that i i don't think he knows that he has mommy that i'm his mommy but i haven't been his mommy so i'm not a mom is just a word to be a mother is different tyler i know that you've had a hard Demetrius I haven't had since he's been one, and Tyler I haven't had since he's been three, but I know that Tyler, last I heard, was shooting up heroin and cocaine, gang banging, drinking alcohol, being abusive to your girlfriends, that's what Grandma Jane told me anyway, but Grandma Jane, my mom, uh, I don't have anything to say to you, I don't hate you, I just don't, Pendar taught me that the, the opposite of love is not hate, the opposite of love is indifference, which means you feel nothing. And maybe someday I will feel something for you, Mom, Jane, whatever. But right now I, I can't give you too much of my emotional because I don't feel it. I don't feel it. Um, and I'm sure my children don't feel that towards me either, but I will prove myself. I will. Tyler, get off the dope if you can. And, and know this, I'm coming for you soon. Once I get healed and pure, I know I'm off the drugs for good. And once I'm able to get, have something to give back, you know, and be able to take care of you and bring you in and give you everything that you, everything, I won't be contact, you know, I mean, I just know I'm going to be coming for you soon. I don't know how long, but I can get, I'm hoping within the year, since Inashiana has come into my life, and since now I've opened up the portal to be able to communicate underneath the ocean with the dolphins and the whales and the octopus, believe it or not. I, that, I've only touched on that aspect, but the octopus and the tentacles basically just being ahead without nothing else, and the tentacles coming off of them is something to do with the unraveled brain, um, the decoded brain, the mind of God, um, cloning. Um, he has something to do with Enoch, which is 
a masculine version of version of Inashiana. And I just know that I will be as soon as I have something to give back to the whole world, I will every one of you I will have something to give to I will be able to take care of the world and I will be able to Larry's home banging around over there. I will be <laughs>